All right, so a few hours ago, we got a data download on the JP side of the game that gave us the Extreme Z Awakening details for the three free-to-play units from the seventh anniversary, the LR Gohan, Goten, and Trunks, as well as the Goku and Chi-Chi, and finally the Vegeta and Bulma. So in this video, we're gonna be breaking all of it down to see, you know, how good these Extreme Z Awakenings actually are. And uh, yeah, with that said, why don't we start here with the LR Gohan, Goten, and Trunks first. So before the Extreme Z Awakening, their leader skill is Hybrid Saiyans or Joined Forces, Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 80%. Their 12 key super attack raises attack for one turn and causes colossal damage, and the 18 key super greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. Their passive is activates and entry animation from start of turn. Key plus 3, and attack and defense plus 70% for 7 turns from start of turn. Attack and defense plus 70%, key plus 1 plus an additional attack plus 70% when there's an ally whose name includes Goku, Youth, Captain Ginyu, Junior, etc. excluded on the team. And then key plus 1 plus an additional defense plus 70% when there's an ally whose name includes Vegeta youth, junior, etc. excluded on the team. So that is without the easy A. Now, once they get the Extreme Z Awakening, their new leader skill is Hybrid Saiyans or Joint Forces Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 120% versus 80%. And then their new 12 key super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. And their 18 key super uh, it says greatly raises attack for one turn here, but that was the same buff as before. And I did see on Goresh's translations on Twitter that he said it was massively raises attack and defense. Or sorry, just the attack. Massively raises attack for one turn on the easy A 18k super. So I'm going to assume it is massively raises, so massively raises attack for one turn, which is obviously better than greatly, and uh, causes mega causal damage to the enemy. And the uh, new passive is activates an entry animation from start of turn, key plus 3, and attack and defense plus 70% for 7 turns from start of turn, attack and defense plus 70%. Key plus 1 plus an additional attack plus 70%, when there's an ally whose name includes Goku, Youth, Captain Ginyu, Junior, etc. excluded on the team, and gain an additional key plus 1 and defense plus 70% if that character is attacking in the same turn. Key plus 1 plus an additional defense plus 70% when there's an ally whose name includes Vegeta, Youth, Junior, etc. excluded on the team, and gains an additional key plus 1 and attack plus 70% if that character is attacking in the same turn. So essentially, with the easy A, now if you have a Goku on the team and also on the same rotation, you get key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 70%. And then if you have a Vegeta on the same rotation on the team, you get key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 70%. So in effect, at their full passive, at their full potential, they're getting 2 more key and also 70% more attack and defense compared to before the Extreme Z Awakening. And uh, for their 12 key super attack, they're getting a little bit more defense. For their 18 key super, they're getting, I believe, uh, more attack. And obviously the leader skill is uh, improved as well. So that is the LR Gohan, Goten, and Trunks Extreme Z Awakening. I think it's uh, very good. I mean, if you look at the numbers, if you look at some of the showcases that are out there right now, these guys, with their full passive, hit extremely hard. Very, very hard for a free-to-play LR. I mean, not even just for a free-to-play LR, just in general, they hit really hard, right? And uh, their defense is not bad by any means. They actually get a very good amount of defense. So both offensively and defensively, they're impressive. Um, the only thing I'll say that's maybe a little bit negative about this unit is that they only have three categories, right? Hybrid Saiyans, Majin Buu Saga, and Joint Forces. And on Hybrid Saiyans, they're really not that viable. I mean, of course they're usable. You can run them on Hybrid Saiyans, but you're not able to get a Goku or Vegeta. So in that sense, um, 
you know, you're going to be missing a big chunk of their passive. Obviously, you could run Hybrid Saiyans and Join Forces, in which case you can get the, uh, you know, Goku and Vegeta's in there, so it's, it's not a huge deal, I guess, but it would have been nice if they got more categories, and uh, maybe their passive is a bit restrictive, but it's not too difficult to activate the Goku and Vegeta condition, so... Overall, I think it's still an excellent LR. Um, I think this Extreme Z Awakening is more than enough to make them honestly quite OP for, once again, a free-to-play LR. So I am more than satisfied. But obviously, let me know your comments or your opinions in the comments down below about uh, what you think of this EZA right here. Now, with that said, let's move on to the Goku and Chi-Chi. So uh, we're starting here with the pre-easy A details. Leader skill is Goku's family, category key plus 3. HP, attack, and defense plus 50%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 80% plus an additional attack and defense plus 22% per attack performed up to a max of 44% and medium chance of launching an additional super attack. They also have an active skill which greatly raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage, and delays a single targeted enemy's attack for one turn. And this can be activated after performing four or more super attacks during battle once only. Now with the Extreme Z Awakening, their new leader skill is Goku's Family Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 77%, or AGL Types Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%, Super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 122%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 22% per attack performed up to a max of 88%. High chance of launching an additional super attack and Goku's family and join forces category allies, key plus two, and attack and defense plus 22%. So a little bit of support there, which is always nice a 50% uh, chance for an additional super, so up to, you know, in theory, three supers per turn, and also a significant attack and defense boost, you know, up to uh, over 200% attack and defense, which is great. Greatly raising attack and defense uh, on the super attack, and it looks like the conditions for the active skill as well as the active skill effect remains the same. Uh, let me just check here. Yeah, same condition, which is unfortunate because four super attacks is a lot, but it is what it is. Um, still, a great Extreme Z Awakening for a great free to play unit. And that is the Goku and Chi Chi. Finally, we have the Vegeta and Bulma. So, before the EZA, their leader skill is Vegeta's Family, key plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 50%. And then the super attack, supreme damage, passive attack and defense plus 80% plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% when performing a super attack, reduces damage received by 10%, and change battle armor when conditions are met. And this unit will change the battle armor for Vegeta uh, starting from the fourth turn from start of battle. So taking a look at the battle armor, Vegeta and Bulma, the exchange, or rather the uh, costume change, this is once again before the EZA. Um, super attack, supreme damage, passive, attack and defense plus 90% plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% when performing a super attack. Or sorry, did I say 40%? 44% when performing a super attack. Reduces damage received by 10% and medium chance of reducing damage received additionally or by an additional 10%. Now, going back to the regular Vegeta and Bulma, with the Extreme Z Awakening now. Leader skill is Vegeta's Family, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 77%, or Fizz types, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 50%. Super attack raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 60% when performing a super attack, reduces damage received by 20%, Vegeta's Family, and join forces, category allies, P plus 2 and defense plus 22% changes battle armor when conditions are met. And the costume change or outfit change condition remains the same as before. So with the EZA now, with the changed battle armor, the uh, super attack raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage. 
and the passive is attack and defense plus 122% plus an additional attack and defense plus 88% when performing a super attack reduces damage received by 22% and medium chance of reducing damage received additionally by 22% so up to 44% damage reduction Vegeta's family and join forces category allies key plus 2 and defense plus 22% and uh, changes battle armor wait what no that's not right <laughs> so this part should not be there because this is already with the you know battle armor change so ignore that last part the passive goes up to here all right so uh yeah again up to you know 200 percent plus attack and defense and also up to 44 percent damage reduction and also a bit of support for the uh, vegeta's family and join forces categories and that does it for these three free to play extreme z awakenings guys um, I think all three of them look very impressive, at least on paper. I've seen a showcase for the uh, Tech LR here, and I mean, they hit hard. They hit hard, they get good defense. These guys, I'm gonna say, will also put up big damage numbers while more than holding their own on defense, okay? So, yeah, um... I don't really see anything wrong with these EZAs. Obviously, if that's just my opinion, that's just how I feel. If you guys feel differently, then definitely let me know in the comments down below. But for free to play Extreme Z Awakenings for this anniversary, um, I don't think they disappointed. I really don't think they disappointed this year. Just like they've been doing for the last couple of years, actually. Um, you know, last year's free to play units were also extremely good. The year before that, um, you know very solid so this year following that trend no complaints for me man and that is the vegeta and bulma goku and chi chi and gohan goten and trunks extremes the awakenings let me know in the comments which one you guys like the best which one do you think is the most impressive and uh that's it guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out